Hey guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. So guys, before we jump into today's video, I want us to help a friend. Things are really happening in Ghana. So this boy sends me a message on WhatsApp and he says this. I'm going to read it out. He said, bro, share this to subscribers and don't add my name. He also said that I survive on sports betting, but my fiancée says she won't marry a guy who stakes bets because it's a sin and it's not sustainable. What should I do? Because I'm not getting any younger. So guys, this is what my friend or this guy is suffering from. What should he do? Should he dog the girl and then continue taking his bet since that is his business he's doing, that is his livelihood? Or he should stop betting, look for a job, and then marry the girl. Let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. So guys, if you're watching Sports Corner GH, if you're following subscribe, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed to, thank you very much. I really appreciate your effort and then your, your support for Sports Corner GH. Now, before we go into what we are going to discuss in today's video, I want to give a shout out to those who commented under our videos yesterday. And I'm going to begin with Scholar Prince. Thank you for watching Sports Corner GH. Emmanuel Aka Newton. Thank you for watching Sports Corner GH. Michael Atta, aka Agomoti. Thank you for watching Sports Corner GH. We have Daniel Eden Kobla um, Abu, aka Bully. Thank you for watching Sports Corner GH. We have Kabute. Thank you for watching Sports Corner GH. And lastly, we have Rich Sap. Thank you for deciding to watch Sports Corner GH. I really appreciate your efforts. So, guys, you can comment under this video. I'll make sure to give you a shout out in our next video. So, now let's talk about the Black Stars. So, I was on the internet. And I saw this picture and I was so happy because Daniel Kofiche is working once more. He's, he's without his, you know, his watches and everything. He's working. You know, he has been on injury since February. And he linked up with Rudiger. And I'm happy to see him smile, you know, with Rudiger. Rudiger is more or less an idolo. Yes, idolo. So Daniel Kofiche linking up with Rudiger. And this is a very beautiful picture. This is not what we are going to talk about today. But then this is just by the way. So guys, let's talk about what we are going to discuss in today's video. We are going to talk about Joseph Edu. Now, Joseph Edu plays for Celta Vigo. Celta Vigo's last match in the Spanish La Liga was against Barcelona. They won the game by two goals to one. But Joseph Edu, who is a starter for Celta Vigo, didn't feature in that game. So per reports, Joseph Edu picked up an injury. And then the question is, what is Chris Hilton going to do? Because we have not heard anything from the Ghana Football Association. Is he going to be replaced or the injury is not that serious? Now, if the injury is serious and he's going to be replaced, who is going to replace Joseph Edu in the final 24-man squad that is going to play Madagascar on the 18th of June? So that is what we are going to discuss. We have options of players that are likely to replace Joseph Edu if his injury is a very serious one where he has to pull out of the squad and then get replaced by another player. So let's look at these players and then let me know who you think would replace Joseph Edu in the Black Star squad. So guys, so let's look at the players who are likely to replace Joseph Edu in the Black Star setup. If Coach Chris Hutton decides that Joseph Edu's injury is so severe that he has to change the player. So the first player that comes to mind is Kasim Nohu Adams, who has played with the Black Star before. Currently, he is with Basel and he is 27 years of age. He has played 28 times, started 25 and has been in team of the week four times for Basel. And I think he's an incredible player who fits the billing of any player to replace Joseph Edu in the Black Stars squad. Now, with the Black Stars, he represented the Black Stars 11 times and scored one goal in the process. So these are the numbers of the performance of Kasim Nuhu Adams. Now, let's look at other suitors who could probably give um, Kasim Nuhu Adams a run for his money. We have Abdul Moumin, who has gained collapse to the Black Stars quite recently, but we have not actually seen him play. We are yet to see him, you know, where the Black Star they say and show us what he can do. He normally gets scholar, but we don't see him play. He is just 25 years of age. He plays for Rayo Volcano in the Spanish La Liga. He has played 16 matches and started nine of those. He has not been really used a lot in the team, but I believe the few games that he has played for them, he has been quite impressive. That is the reason why the Black Stars keep calling him up anytime there's a tournament. So if there's any player who has earned few collapse quite recently and might probably replace Joseph Edu, it would be Abdul uh, Moumin. So let's look at the last player who I believe could probably make his debut for the Black Stars. He's in the person of Patrick Fiefa. Now, Patrick Fiefa has been on the lips of many Ghanaians who follow the Black Stars thoroughly. 
and he used to play for Darmstadt. How Darmstadt get promoted to the Bundesliga and then left Darmstadt and signed for Osberg. Now, with Darmstadt, these are his numbers. He played 24 matches, um, started 20 of those. He was in the team of the week four times, scored four goals, gave one assist, and he is just 23 years of age, a very tall player who will fit the criteria of a typical black star center back. And it could be any of these play, uh, three players. So let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. Which of these players is likely to replace Joseph Edu in the Blaster squad if Coach Distributing decides that Joseph Edu's injury is too much that he has to remove or pull out the player from the final 24 man squad? Kasim Nugu Adams, Abdul Momin, and then Patrick Fiefer. Which of these three players fits, you know, the billing to be the next um, Black Star center back or to be, you know, the backup to Ida Amate or uh, Ida Amate or Jiku? Let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. So, guys, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also turn on notification to Sports Corner GH. Turn notification to the channel, Charlie. So, see, anytime I drop beer, you now you will get on first. So, guys, I'll see you in the next video. We go vibe.